Hi, I'm uh, Dimitri Dehane. I'm a marine biologist at Scripps. And I'm Melissa Roth, a PhD student in marine biology at Scripps. So imagine that you are a physician and that you have a lot of patients to uh, determine whether they are healthy or not. What will you do? Well, we actually try to maybe find a screening characteristic of the patient, their temperature or their blood pressure, so you can see whether uh, one or the other is more um, stress or um, um, heal and then you can take care of them directly. So the goal that we have is actually what can we use for the environment to assess the um, quality and the health of the environment based on a non-invasive characteristic. And so animals produce light and some of the uh, light production can actually be uh, correlated to the health of the animal which is also meaning that it will represent how the, uh, the environment is healthy or not. So our goal is to actually measure light from animals to be able to um, analyze quality of the environment and we can actually do that from corals. Uh, corals produce light through fluorescence and this is actually the topic of research for uh, Melissa. So tropical reef building corals have fluorescent proteins which produce this fluorescent light that we can measure and see um, from the corals non-invasively. And so here in the lab um, at Scripps I've been taking corals into the lab and measuring their fluorescence under different conditions of stress. And so what we'd like to do is be able to take that to the field and have some way to remotely measure coral fluorescence as a measurement of their health. Yeah, exactly. So the idea is that you take an instrument out in the field and you are able to measure the hyperspectral characteristics of the corals. And the hyperspectral characteristics can actually be taken by an instrument called an hyperspectral imager. So hyperspectral imagers are actually available and they are you know, used for land measurements but none is available for underwater measurement. So that's the first technological challenge that we have and that we propose is how can we actually make one of those hyperspectral imaging systems underwater and ready to be used for surveying and monitoring coral reefs and their fluorescence so that we can then, based on the fluorescence, assess whether uh, corals are healthy or not. But then there is the other challenge, right? The uh, Making the correlation between the fluorescence and the health is not pretty straightforward yet. Right, and that's the subject of my dissertation research. So hopefully Melissa will be done soon, but uh, no matter what, I think this really deserves more attention and deserves more way more research than this and say so if we have that instrument and we can go in the field I think the research of correlating the biological health of the animal, the corals and uh, the fluorescence will be tremendous and will help us actually uh, measure very quickly in a non-invasive way whether coral reefs are healthy or not. I'm up for a challenge, what about you? Let's take the challenge. Let's go.